Yes, I accept. Why does that always go to yes and no? That is the same. Continue. Alright. So, I have come across a boss last night, and I don't, I didn't know how to beat it. I really didn't at the time, but now I do. The thing is, though, I don't know if it's going to work. That's the thing, is I don't know if it's going to work. This is where I was, but I'm going to just go back. Hello, Bucky boy. Hi. I'm doing this for you. I'm going to show you the cutscene and everything. But I need to set up. There is there is a little bit of a strategy I have. Because I can basically stun lock it. I just don't know how to do damage to it yet. I just need to get into position to stun lock it. Because I was, I was doing it in my stream last night, but I didn't know how to do damage. Because every time I, I did something to it, it didn't actually damage it, which didn't make sense to me. But, oh, I don't have any short rests. That's weird. Do I have any spells? I do. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wow. It took me all the way back. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Those are back on. Uh, hello, let me down. Let me down, good sir. Let me down, please. Please, let me down. No? Okay. Uh, I already took care of those turrets, so I'm, I don't know why. Why are they going that way? Why are they going that way? Why? How did they dodge all those attacks? They got hit, like, twice. How? Okay, whatever. Wow. Okay. Hold on one second. What is what is this save? What? 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 It rolled me back. That's weird. That's very weird. Or maybe it didn't. Because I was already in the arcane tower. I don't know why this is blacked out. That's... I don't understand that. Whatever. We're doing the forge. <laughs> and so... I will show you my strategy... To at least stun lock it until I know how to actually hurt it. Come on, guys, please. Just jump the gap. Why do they do this? Just just jump the gap, please. It's not difficult. Oh, man. Okay. Who didn't jump? You. You didn't jump. Please, guys. Guys. Don't jump, please. You know, when I said don't jump, I meant don't jump up. Not jump back up. This is great. Okay. Just gonna split everybody up because... What's next? That's just great. I need to go get that mithril ore again. Because I don't, I did save, but I want to do it again just to show you the cutscene. Action, not reaction. Okay, group up. All right, I need to be Lazelle for this because she has Misty Step. I can get to a position with her easily, at least. Or I could use fork to be invisible, but eh, no, that doesn't. That actually doesn't work because I think I tried that and it just kind of revealed me. So I have to use misty step. 
Alright, grab this. Can I can I get the fire resistance? Okay, I need to equip that stuff for Shadowheart again. Because I made her a war cleric. this and this was it this sort of screams or was it something else well I guess it was sort of screams okay and those all right and now you break this lady and then we get the mithril ore And then we go all the way down here. I figured out how to do... How to actually make the weapon. So that's good. Or the... Or the armor or whatever else that I got. Come on. There we go. Okay. So. First off, I'm going to take this mold out. Because I don't want this mold. And then I'm going to switch to Carlac because she has the mold that I want. Maze Schmitter. Semiter? I don't know how to say that properly. But there's that. And then I go back to you because you have the ore. Stick it in here into the crucible. It's all the way down here somewhere. Or not? Where is it? Where is the ore? There it is. Okay. Perfect. Now, I need to split off here. And I need to activate this lever. Okay. Activate this lever. It'll bring me down. Yep, you see? This was revolutionary last night, okay? And now, I need to get these guys to go over here. Come on, over here, guys, over here. Yep, right here. Not on the ground there, okay? Because they need to pull this lever to do the thing that I wanted to do. So... Here's the introduction. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Now this is the plan. Okay? I need to get her... I need to get her, like, right on the very edge of this. So that I don't get hit. And now, I need to bait him over here. Ah, damn. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's still possible. I just need to get his attention. Now I'm prime target. That means that he's going to target me over anybody else. Stay focused. And now I need to wait until he gets closer to her. Okay, he's awoken. Okay, never mind. I just need to do it again, I guess. Come on. Prime target, please. Ah, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, please. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now, fuck yes. 
Now he's gonna come towards us, right? Okay. And now, I slam. I, I pull this lever and I slam him. Oh, shit! That actually worked! Before, okay, before, when I slammed him, he took no damage. It was zero damage. It said he was immune to bludgeoning. Hold on. Well, now it says he's immune to bludgeoning again. So, what do I do from here? Do I gotta take out the ads? Uh, I'm lost at this point. I don't know what else to do. I guess I go back to the lever, maybe, and activate the lava? That's, like, the only other thing I could think of. Come on, buddy. Uh, you need to... Need to take care of these guys. Critical miss. Great. Uh, rally you. Okay, and turn. Uh, shit. What can I do here? I don't think water does anything. I think I tried that. Uh, fuck. Blade Ward? Bless? I guess I bless. Fuck it. Uh, and you jump over here? Take aggro, maybe? Take aggro so that she doesn't get interrupted. He's gonna get up. He isn't gonna be able to attack, which is great. Not enough movement. Okay. Uh, fuck. I don't think I'll be able to pull that. Okay, what can I do here? What can I do? Main attack? Can I hit it? No. Oh, shit. Shit. What can I do? I can't get closer to it. Because once... I can't use it as an action. Because once I use... Once I use, uh dash it uses it as an action so I can't pull it thorn whip maybe does this work did that work oh sh it worked okay okay Time to strike. now let's see is he still immune he is not so I can just slam him again, right? But I gotta take care of these guys. Uh, I guess I just... What do I do here? Do I... Do I jump away? And attack? Because I could just slam him right now if that kills him. I think I, I, think I just jump. I think I jump and attack. Distract. Need to act fast. And you hit the sliver. Oh, that didn't kill him. Uh, problem. Problem that did not kill him. Okay. Uh, weapon. Spiritual weapon. Maul. I need you to be here as distraction. Okay? Be, be distraction for me, buddy. Uh, can I flip this again? Hold on. Don't go into lava, please. Okay. Uh, Flip it. Does this work? No. It doesn't work. Alright. That's fine. No. 
Die. Oh my goodness. Who just took a lot of damage? Oh god. They are hurting me. Oh, he's back up. Please stay there. Oh no. Oh no. Uh I don't know if this is going to work now. Uh problem. I don't want to hit all of you. Oh, perfect. Right here. Oh. oh okay. That is nothing I could have done there. They were right on top of her. Uh oh, I know what I could do. I could uh I could attack him and then hold on. Let's kill this guy real quick. Oh shit. Uh pick her up. Scroller Revivify. And, uh, and turn. Attack him. Oh no. That's not good. That's fine. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. I, I don't know how to do this. Okay, hold on. I might have something cooking. I am disarmed. That's not good. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe. Just maybe I can do something here. If I get his attention... Okay, she's prime target, right? Oh, he went the wrong way. Uh-oh. 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 Uh oh, that's that's not good. Uh, shit. Okay, this isn't good at all. Cause he's in, he's in the way. Okay, hold on. I might be able to pull something off here. This is very, very bad. Very bad. You just stay here on the lever. Uh, jump. Okay. Now, I get his attention, right? Come on. Come on. I need, I need you over here, buddy. Thank you. All right. Now, I need to... I need to heal. I need to heal. Do I have any healing for you? No, I do not. Uh, jump, I guess? Jump away? Oh, she's about to die. Nothing I can do about that. Nope, nope. Okay. Did she die? She, yeah, she did. Okay, that's... I can bring her back. This is okay.
Survival is all that matters. I didn't know how to damage him at first. Like I knew when I when he first came out, I did attack him and I was doing damage, but he still had resistances and stuff. But
put him up. I wonder what the next move is. Dost thou require a new as the
There is work to do. Still alive, so that's progress. looking.
ready. <laughs> Nothing will stand in my way. Forever, pal. No choice but to keep going.
only way out is through. First step is the hardest. Wait.
gonna feel good. In position. save let's let's do it off we go Rare achievement, the plot thickens. Left act one for somewhere altogether darker. Interesting. I'm surprised that's a rare achievement. That's just that's just progressing through the story. Okay. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. Twice over, in fact. You supported me against Lazel. I may not have survived that night without you. I'm trying to say... That you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me. At least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. 
There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... Inscrutable. <laughs> wow, that's just fucked up. Why would I say I that? Don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate, hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Dark Justicias are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. Oh, okay. Thank you for sharing. Black. We offer ourselves to the darkness, that blessed Shah may give us her mercy. Okay. Don't I have a torch? What happened to my torch? I had a torch. I guess I don't. Can't keep me out. Oh, no, well, there they are. There's the torches. I'm assuming I was supposed to give torches to everybody. Can't afford to stay idle. Assume nothing. I don't know, but if I did, then... Cool. I can do that. The hell is that? pain to the lady of loss that she may truly know her faithful can I go back you're entering a different region region venture forth oh so I can go back then then what was the issue is it made it seem like I couldn't go back Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. May I inquire if perchance you retain among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name of Gale? <coughs> uh, ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? 
should it be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you, well, you may safely classify Gail and I as friends. Should it be the nature of your present interlocutor that you desire to drag from the dark and unknown, then I should be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. Elminster Omar. Now, if this answer satisfies you, let us linger no longer in this limbo of indecision, but set course for your camp forthwith. Okay. My thanks for your excellent guidance. Ah, and yonder I spy the object of my pursuit. Elminster? The very same, Gail. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. Oh, f fine, fine. I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorned stomach beseeches me. Graver matters are at hand. Plenty to digest. After all, a good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Uh, right. Um, you see, I, um, uh, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy. I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. The long-awaited question. Now, if you please, Elminster, for the too long awaited answer. You know where you went wrong, Gail. And I trust you've told your fellow traveler here the nature of your ills. I can't say that so far I volunteered uh, the entire truth. Do you mean to say you've never bothered to disclose how dangerous you are? Not in so many words. No. Then you two have much to discuss after I'll have taken my leave. In short, Gail, through his own doing, has become a living explosive that could wipe from this world this very gathering and, and much more besides. For his folly, Mistra forsook him. But now she has decreed he is to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. The very purpose of my presence, in a roundabout sort of way. 
You must know that the Absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress Belief that only you can. The orb. Precisely. That which renders him so dangerous is an orb of Netherese origin that is buried within his chest. And that, Gale, is how we arrive at the heart of my directive. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the absolute whatever that may be and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world no indeed but i think she trusts me too it brings me no pleasure saying this my friend but such is mistress will Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the Absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress' promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. Italian Thras Annas It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient <coughs> seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Okay. Rare achievement, repairing the weave. Stabilized Gale's Netherese orb. Kind of funny how apparently your character only has a few days to get rid of the tadpole in your head, but goes around doing random crap for people. Well, I think it's just like a special tadpole, because there's other people like me that I'm sure have been affected long before me that are still doing shit. So, I mean... I, I think that's just how we are. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I suppose it's time we dealt with the Hollyphant in the room. You have questions for me? And I promise I have answers. I'm sorry. 
And I assure you, you were never at risk. However, the cause of my condition is... complicated. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Suffice it to say, I obtained an obscure and ancient book that had locked away inside a much coveted prize. It was a fragment of primal weave locked out of time, locked away from Mistra herself. What if? I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You've seen this before. The book. The black tendrils of chaos weave that lash out and overtake you. The dread is as real as the first time. The oppression just as unbearable. This time, I've been traveling with you despite the tadpole in your head. We are none of us monsters. We are merely hatcheries for monstrous things. And still it gets worse. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry. And it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Fortunately, this need no longer be a concern. Not until I meet the heart of the Absolute, whatever that is. Okay, then. Great.
That was a lot, and I just got into this new area. Oh, hi, dead guy. Give me your shit. Shadow cursed lands. Stand by me if you need to keep warm in this awful place. This is no ordinary darkness. It feels powerful and familiar. These lands have been blessed by Lady Shah. You must learn more about her presence here. There's a okay. power to these shadows. A familiar one. I swear I can feel it. It's the only way to Moonrise Tower. Something's wrong, man. The Shadow Curse is a powerful threat that lurks and devours in the darkness. Surround yourself with light to avoid its most lethal effects. Consume me. I am shielded by Lady Shah. gonna be shadow cursed I guess till you get closer to me yep same with you oh you're good Lazel is shadow cursed I think the dark lady shields me I can feel her Oh, cool. So you're you're fine with this. So that's how this is going to be a turn-based section. Hold on, because I need to give these people torches. There you go. You got a torch. Now what about you? You got a torch? I'd love to, thanks. Yep, you have a torch too. Making Great. Oh, yeah. oh, this place is heavy. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Got it. 
Black Oleander. What is this? Just a tree. On I go. What is this? Shadow Cursed Undead. Oh. So it's undead, which means that it's going to come back to life, right? So leave that guy alone. Oh, those are dudes. They aren't going to attack me, are they? Time to rest. I'm gonna go say hi. On my way. Stay together. Keep to the light. to trust a voice from the darkness come into the light hands high well my hands are not high Jonas move in This is not terrifying at all. You're shadow cursed, you idiot. What? That damage is a little crazy. That damage is a little crazy. Uh, shit, dude. 
heading out. Wow, okay. All right, Carlac, I need you to fucking destroy this guy. Oh, you're not doing any damage, lady. I will ascend. This isn't good. Stop laughing at me! You deserve that! I hate this. I hate everything about this. Can I even get to him? I don't think I can. I... Okay. Well, there's that. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, where is your lady? Do you have your torch out? I really hope you do. Victory awaits. Not enough, but I'm right there. Okay. I guess I just, I can't even attack him. I'm not close enough. Can't do anything. Okay. They just killed him. I didn't know they can attack people on the ground. That's not cool. They do so much damage. Thank <laughs> you. 
They're laughing at me. This is unbelievable. gonna die oh he's already got taken he got taken okay fine at least I guess it's fine can I distract the shadow I can distract the shadow that's pretty funny I can distract shadows <laughs> honestly do I just dash just run past these two It's gonna hurt him pretty bad. There's that. Shadow vestige. Orange haired cat to sleep before a fireplace comes to you. What came of it? Yeah, they're all dead. Look for battle. Proceeding. You sense a young woman gazing at Moonrise Towers in awe. Perhaps one day she will get to gaze out from atop it, she hopes. Damn, it's good to be alive. Lucky! Ooh, they do a lot of damage. I need to start specking into light stuff now, because holy shit, I need it. I have a light, I'm good. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. I'll go this way. Indolence breeds madness. Repositioning. Ah. Don't you, don't you have a torch, lady? Didn't I give you a torch? Yes, you have a torch. Fucking use it. There, jeez. Is that so hard? They all gotta level up. Fork isn't gonna be able to level up because he fucking died. Oh well, he might be able to level up. I don't think War Cleric is the right choice here. If I'm being completely honest. I need light attacks.
Or daylight. I guess daylight would be good too. But it seems like uh, whatever that one ability is that I have is really good too, because it just it basically killed everything. Radiant attacks. Radiant attacks. That's what I need. Yeah. I can't return to my camp. Turn off turn based here. Don't need it. Not really. Let's pop you open, shall we? Okay, now I can go to camp. Okay, now where is the dude? Where is the dude to bring my, my fork back? Up here? Alright, cool. Fate does thou require then? Yeah. This is the price of ban. Well, yeah. I know. By doom and dusk, I strike thy neck. I crave blood. Mobile? There we go. That's probably not the best way to build her, but that's what I got. So, 45. Mmm, 100 turns? That's a lot of turns. That's a lot of turns. I don't need that many turns. Also, Moonbeam is good. Barkskin, Heat Metal. I don't know. I, I've, I haven't used Heat Metal like that. I don't use that either. I guess that. Hmm. 
a flaming sphere, I guess. Uh, and then entangle. Oh, that's it. Alright. Cool. Can't give up now. I I uh, I don't think I need to respect anything yet. Everyone's got torches and stuff. So that's good. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna call it for right now. Uh, I'm gonna play Alien Isolation later today, so if you want to see that, please stick around for that, but otherwise, I'm gonna go and uh, hopefully see you guys later.